11 o'clock, it's Saturday night, and they're all trying to get right, and right here at the front table, Sam Begarawa's place, the Sunset Tavern. At North she is important, just like so many others, and through this collection, we can tell that story, we can preserve that story, we can learn from that story, and best of all, everyone can participate in the story and hear it for themselves. Whee! <laughs> That's right, this is Dr. Daddio. That's right, Jackson Brewing Company and Dr. Daddio want you to move right on in before the time gets too thin. Vernon Winslow was born in Chicago, and he actually moves to New Orleans because he was offered a job teaching art. He becomes interested in radio, in radio broadcasting. But this is during the time of segregation and specifically in the South, Jim Crow era. So he has this original position where he is teaching white radio disc jockeys how to sound black on the air. One night, he decides to do it himself. He is the first African-American radio disc jockey on New Orleans airwaves. Yeah. 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 He gets on the air and the radio station fires him. Another radio station, WWEZ AM, with Jackson Brewing Company. See the power of Vernon Winslow. And so this is where we get the on-air personality of Dr. Daddio and the Jivin' with Jacks radio shows. Now here we are at Big Club 225 at 225 South Rampart Street. And right here we have a gang of folks around this pop. The one, one cat right behind me is holding a bottle. Looks, doesn't look like a Jack's bottle. I don't know what the These recordings is. span 1949 through 1958. They capture Winslow's voice and the voices of the people that he interviews live on the air. Musicians like Duke Ellington and Professor Longhair. He also does remote broadcasts from local nightclubs and bars, promoting Jack's beer, and promoting all kinds of events in the city. Ladies and gentlemen, we're, we're still knocking ourselves out right here in the Sunset Tavern at St. Louis and Roman. And trumpet blowing is really blowing too, Pop. Catch on, catch on, man. The work of Tulane University Special Collections is to preserve history. The digitization work is made possible thanks to a Grammy Museum grant that was awarded to Tulane University Special Collections in 2019. This collection is available digitally, so no matter where you are, you can listen to it right now by going to digitallibrary.tulane.edu and just going to the Vernon Dr. Daddio Winslow broadcast recording section and listen to everything that is there.